Hey everyone, welcome on Devish Tech channel. In this video, we are going to talk about that what is WebSocket and why we need it. So let's understand that what is the WebSocket. The first sentence of the WebSocket is WebSocket is a bidirectional and a full duplex protocol. Let me explain this sentence with help of the telephone. In a telephone, you will see that two people can talk each other. The communication happen between them is the bidirectional. And what does that mean the full duplex? The meaning of the full duplex is that they can talk each other simultaneously. So the web socket is a bidirectional which means the communication happen between client and server will be the bidirectional not the unidirectional. And the client and server both can send the data simultaneously not one by one. So with help of the web socket, we can achieve the bidirectional and a full duplex communication. The second sentence of the web socket is it is a stateful protocol. What does that mean? The connection between the client and server will not be ended until one of the client or server terminate the session. Like in a telephone, one of the people just hang up, only the connection will be terminated. Same thing will happen with the web socket, which means the connection between client and server will keep alive until it is terminated by the one of the party. Means either server or the client have to terminate the connection. Then only the connection will be disconnected from the both the end. So in the web socket, we have the client and we have the server. Client will initiate the connection with the server and after initiating the connection, the handshaking protocol will happen between the client and server, which is the part of the TCP IP protocol. I'm not going to deep down on the TCP IP protocol, but you can think that between the client and server, a channel will be created after the handshaking. That channel is called the web socket. In the web socket, the communication will happen between the client and server is the bidirectional and they can transmit the data simultaneously. So let's see where we use the web sockets. We use the web sockets in chatting application. So in a chatting application with help of the web socket, we create a channel and with help of that channel, we send the message simultaneously. We also use the web socket in the gaming application. So if you see on a gaming application, you will find that all the participant score are updating frequently. We do not refresh the page automatically the all the score will update frequently. So with help of the web socket only that can be happen. Also in a trading platform we use the web socket because in a trading platform you will see that all the data of the trade will be updated frequently. So that thing also achieve using the web socket. So there is a question that why only web socket for real time application. So you saw all the application are the real time application. So why only we use the web socket for the real time application to know that we have to know about the rest API first. So in a rest API, what will happen that the client will request the data from the server with help of the HTTP protocol. HTTP protocol is the unidirectional and the stateless protocol which means the connection between the client and server will happen only one directional and the connection will be terminated just after getting the response from the server. So suppose we made our chat application with help of the REST API. So if I will type the hey message over here, then nothing will come here in a chat window. To get the message, we have to refresh the page. When we refresh the page, at the time, the client will request the data from the server and server will respond to the data and the connection will be terminated at that same time. If again I will type a message hi to the data will be not reflected here. To get reflected here we have to make a request again. So that is the problem of the REST API that it is a unidirectional and stateless which means the connection is terminated just after getting the data. But we need to have a real time application. If I will type hey here, then automatically hey will come in a chat window. So that was the problem in a REST API that again and again we have to refresh the page. 
there was the solution in a REST API that is the pooling, which means we have to request the data again and again very frequently, like after the one second or two second, we have to make the same REST API protocol again and again. So here, instead of asking a data once, we have to keep asking a data after the one second. So this is called the pooling. So let me give you the example of the pooling that how it will happen if we implement the pooling in our, our chat application. So if I will type the hey, the message will come just after the two seconds. If I will type this message, then the message will come here just after the two seconds again because I'm making the REST API just after the two seconds. That's why it's giving a two second delay. In the pooling also, we have issue that we have to keep making the HTTP request again and again and again. So that is the issue on a pooling as well. After that, we come into the WebSocket. So with help of the WebSocket, we establish the connection bidirectional. Here is the example of the WebSocket. If I will type the hey, and the message will be delivered as soon as possible without refreshing the page. If I will again type hey two, and the message will be delivered again very fast. I establish the connection between the client and server with help of the WebSocket. I use the library called Socket.io for establishing the connection between the client and server using the WebSocket. We are going to learn about the Socket.io in next coming video because we are going to develop the chat server. So this is the beauty of the WebSocket that the message will be delivered as soon as possible and the communication happened between the both the direction. As of now, I didn't create a message window for this page, but you can establish the connection. I mean, you can send the message from this window to this window without any doubt. So all these things are real time. So with help of the WebSocket, we made the real time application and you are going to learn about the WebSocket or the Socket IO in the next coming videos. Till that, happy coding and see you on the next video. But don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like the video. Thank you all.